I never thought I'd be here. I never thought after seven seasons, following the political intrigue, character development, and everything else that was great about this show, that it could have had the bottom fall out more so than Star Wars. My friend John Tox is on season three or four, finally watching Game of Thrones after years of putting it off. And I'm debating whether to tell him to just stop. It's not worth the time. At least with The Last Jedi, as awful as it is in every conceivable way, there were points to be had. Johnson wanted to take Star Wars beyond the tropes we expect. Legends aren't always the hero forever. Failure is the best teacher. God, I can't believe I'm defending The Last Jedi as better written than Game of Thrones. So, this is your one fucking warning. Spoilers ahead. Luke, tell us how this is going to go. This is not going to go the way you think. So there's a lot of talk about the series finale of Game of Thrones, so let's break it down and just sit in utter shock at the haphazard writing. First, John, Tyrion, and Davos walk through the wreckage of King's Landing. Tyrion somehow finds the hand of Jaime. Number two, Grey Worm has a regiment that's trapped some Lannister infantry and are ordered by Danny to slaughter them. Number three, Danny gives a speech about how she's freed King's Landing. <laughs> Wait, what? Are you kidding me? If you mean from living, then congrats. You did your job. It's one thing to have her be the enemy in the end, but this is the worst butchering of a character I've ever seen. She now wants to free the rest of the world. We thought the Night King was bad. At least the undead are just that. Undead, as in having some fucking form of existence. Number four, Tyrion says, hey, fuck you, lady. And he ends up going to prison. Makes sense. Danny was a new feminist icon. And she's gone full feminazi. Moral of the story, don't question white women. Number five. John kills Daenerys. Finally, give him some balls. Expect SJW gnashing of teeth online after this. Drogon takes their place, though. Gets triggered and burns the Iron Throne. Then flies away with the body of Daenerys. Weird. You'd think John would get Drogon. At least later since they made that shot of him or Rhaegal looking at Jon intently because he's a Targaryen but why do follow throughs matter number six Grey Worm takes Jon and Tyrion captive he then takes the Unsullied and Dothraki to free slave cities wait what the hell they keep adding numbers to these armies I can see if you want to bend the rules and have the Dothraki continue to spawn Brokeback Mountain style shot of me come on everybody but the Unsullied? Really? They don't even have dicks. Yes, it's true. This man has no dick. Number seven. Sansa teleports and gets to tell Jon bye. Uh, now, I don't know if she's actually in King's Landing or if it's in Winterfell when she says bye. Uh, but it's a compromise, and he gets sent to the Night's Watch. Uh, why is there a Night's Watch? Beats me. They kill the Night King and ally with the Wildlings. I can't find it, but I did see or hear somewhere, uh, potentially, that the spirals originally made by the undead start reappearing. Uh, so perhaps that's why, but it doesn't matter. John goes to Torment and Ghost and uh, ends up petting him. Number eight, Bran becomes king. Tyrion becomes his hand. Number nine, Sam, the new Grand Maester, reports of a Drogon sighting, and Bran says, I'll look for him. So yeah, they never explain what the hell Bran was doing warging during the Battle of Winterfell, or what the hell he was doing since. Apparently, he can warg Drogon from afar, but couldn't stop Rhaegal from dying, or Drogon from slaughter in King's Landing. What was the point of him? Uh, I'm lost. He's like Professor X, but useless. They never follow up on the time loop like he did with Hodor. <sighs> what a waste. And he's king now? Sure. He has the power to know the truth and maybe see the future and threats from afar that might be uh, impending on the kingdom. But what's the lesson to be had in all this? 
No one should have free will? Some Randian objectivism? Uh, Who knows? I'm on the fence. Do I want these guys, uh, Benioff and Weiss, further ruining Star Wars beyond what it is currently? Or do I want them to ruin Star Wars so bad Disney has one less franchise to whore out and milk? Milking the teats. Now sure, these guys, they could totally pull off a trilogy and succeed in storytelling, but now even I've lost faith. What do all you think about this? Comment below. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. If you'd like to support this channel, consider becoming a patron or buying store merch from the Teespring store. Don't forget to check out the growing list of friends in the Phantom Collective in the description below. And follow me on Twitter, at Angus Reviews. See you there.